Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, this is Eddie, Lemon Pest is somewhere within the ship, doing God knows what. And today we're back with some more Starfield, and we are starting off in a different spot than we finished, because I took a trip to New Atlantis to drop off the resource at the lodge, because apparently they get the unlimited storage box, and we don't. Which is pants if you ask me, but anyway, we're at Sidonia, and we're going to go down and continue with Ryujin's questline. So let's get into it. Joop. Alright, let's land. Did you know that Deimos Star Yards has been here since 2112? Really? They had a station orbiting the planet. There you go, the more you know with Lemon Pest. Alright, let's get in before um, before we succumb to the atmosphere. There's a couple of things we've got to do here, but... Um, yes, I think we'll go and... I think we'll go and deal with the Ryujins. Part first. What are these things doing? Like robot storage? Ooh. Might have to take a peep down there after. Come on then, Lemon Pest, let's uh, let's get in. Before we die a horrible death outside here. In the what? On the hall. Multiple leeches in the grab drive. Oh dear. Suppose that would explain the brownouts. So what's this going to run? If there are no other surprises, mid five figures. Whew. Five figures? Five? Fine. Do it. I'll be at the bar. Find me when it's done. We're on it, sir. Wow. Now I believe. That's removal in progress. Stand clear, please. Can I not? Will you not? Sorry, we've got a backlog. All right. Well, never mind then. Okay. I'm just going to get in before my suit goes mental. Welcome to Sidonia, humanity's stepping stone to the stars. Well, all right. My buddy Mitch keeps asking if I can help him out with something, but I just don't have the time. Yeah, do you have any idea how far we've Mitch travel? Benjamin, never how heard much of him. Money we spent Whoa. To hitch a ride to this dusty red rock. Oh God. We were told there were jobs. 782 look, hours without look, incident. Look, look, I get it. But we just filled our last item. that back. I think we have a couple contracts ending at the end of next month. I don't think you're supposed to walk out with the glass, you know. This is bullshit. Oh, I got right. a wife and kids at home. We can't wait almost two months for a job that may not even exist then. Oh dear. Hey, hey, I get it. But there's nothing I can do. It's out of my hands. You can take it up with corporate if you want. Sorry, but I have to get back to work. Well, that's not Come exactly helpful, is it? Come on, forget it. Let's get it? out of here. Maybe it's not too late to catch a ride back home. I mean, I could take you Don't home take if you want. Care of your shit. Hello? Even I know you were counting on that Sidonia like car to fail. We'll find something else. Oh, this is the pilot that got... Have the lug car go across half the universe just can't make this from the Oh, okay. Do you know what? This is Distraction Avenue and it's not necessary. So we need to go and meet this fella. My god. Okay, this is very, um, yep. So the... What the hell? That's a face. What? Wait, what? Detonation? What? There's a lot going on. Okay. Whoa. Particle detonation concluded. It is now safe to resume normal activity. What are you doing? Okay. The face of Sidonia. On July 25th, 1976, the Viking 1 Orbiter spacecraft took its first photos of the Sidonia region of Mars. Among them was an image of what appeared to be a humanoid face on the surface of Mars. The image inspired the imaginations of millions, cementing humanity's passion for space exploration and once again begging the question, are we alone out there? Later photography would reveal that the face was no more than a mountain, shadows, and perhaps humanity's greatest case of pareidolia, a tendency to perceive specific meaningful imagery in an otherwise ambi ambiguous or random phys visual pattern. Nevertheless, the legend of the face on Mars remains an important inspiration for many to this day. Well, I mean, that's all right. Okay, let's go meet this. Is he... Ah, so how do I get up there? This way? Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Reliant Medical and... The 
Personal protection, spacesuits, and more. Use exchange. We might pop in there after. Um. Oh, here you are. You look kind of smug, but all right. Wait to get out of this place. Simon Rychek. You lost, or just come to ask another work miner how his day's going? Um. Hmm. Figured I'd check out the view from here. Not much to see. Same old buildings, same old rocks. Mm. What I wouldn't give for a beer and some real entertainment around here. Speaking of, looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. Razor Derby is the only real sport. You're damn right it is. <laughs> I heard they were sending someone new. Don't get too nice excited. To see you made it. I have information on a deal being proposed between Infinity LTD and Deimos Stockyards. Alright. It's my belief that your employers would be highly interested in the details. So I'm upping my price. It's steep, yes. But that is why I'm also offering a little side job if you can't pay up. I mean, 10,000 credits, you're having a laugh, mate. An absolute laugh. Um. I mean, surely it's negotiable. Good lord. For this little tidbit? <laughs> Believe me, I know exactly what this is worth. Um. <sighs> you must not get around much if you think anybody would pay that. Not oh, sure that's blasted. the best way to get me on your side. Well. Look, understand. <laughs> I don't mean to imply you're being unreasonable. Look, I'd like to help, but... But what? I'm sure we could work something out. I hear you. Yeah. I'm glad you started to come round to my point of view. Maybe we can work something out. Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright, I'll lower the price. But that's my final offer. Unless you may prefer the side job now. 8,000! Oh, tell me about the... The side job, then. Good God. <laughs> You're going to like it. Am I? As you may guess, being an informant is not without its risks. Mm -hmm. I've heard there's a merc in Saturn's orbit who'd like to cross my name off her list. Malai Liskova. If you take her out and bring me her gun as proof, I'll consider my fee to be waived. Hmm... What can you tell me about her? She's a freelance mercenary, used to work for Inception Technologies. But she likes her independence, so she went into business for herself. She specializes in killing for the right price. So before you get any second thoughts, you should think of it as doing the Settled Systems a favor. Why do you look a little sad about it, dude? Mm. So why do you want the gunner's proof? Liskova has a sentimental attachment to that gun. Even named it Ember. She'd never just hand it over. It saved her life once or twice. Seems whenever it falls into enemy hands, it has a tendency to backfire or jam. <laughs> On top of that, she's superstitious, which makes the gun all the more precious to her. Fine, that's what it takes. Good. Malai's ship is called the Detura. And like I said, you can find her in orbit around Saturn. Just remember to bring the gun back as proof. Oh, I'll bring the gun back, all right. Maybe I'll bloody shoot you with it, right through the eyes, so good grief. Ugh. 8,000 credits, and that's a discount? Come on now, lemon pest out the road. Good God, robbery with violence! Robbery with violence. Let's pop into the trade authority while we're here. Oh, hello. Yo, hey, what's up? You looking to do some shopping here at the trade authority? That I am, I'm sir. I'm Manaki. Feel free to ask me anything and I'll do my best to help you out. Manaki. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm looking to make a trade. Cool. That's what we do here. Cool. Come well, thank you very anytime. much. All right, Lemon Pest, let's go and find this woman. 
or there was another job we had to do here, wasn't there? Um, deep cover. Maybe no. We'll 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 do that another time. I think. For now, we'll we'll hey. continue on with. Ah, yes, the hey, tracker Trainer. lady. I know you don't need it, but there's some work available on the mission boards. Tracker's alliance lady. She doesn't have a name. That's kind of sad. Okay. Sandstorm. Oh no. Well. Oh. The day is upon us. I am somewhat curious what's going on down there. We, we will go and have a look at some point. But we're off to Saturn. We're off to Saturn to find somebody to murder. Maybe. All right. That's far enough. Stay at your business or I open fire. Easy now. That's more like it. So, tell me what you're doing here. I'll decide whether or not to strip you for salvage. You can't strip me for salvage. I'm starborn. <sighs> Are you looking for a man named Simon Rychek? I'm looking for a lot of people. And none of them are any business of yours. He sent me to kill you. <laughs> Simon's been trying to kill me for years. And failed. Miserably. So, why haven't you opened fire? Hmm? Talk. Hmm. How do you know him? If you think I meant having any questions, think again. Well, I can get Simon Rychek to stop hunting you. <laughs> Simon will never stop. The man will hold a grudge until his dying breath. Well, I mean... Don't you want him to leave you alone? I admit, it'd be nice to be able to relax a bit. Hmm. Simon will stop if he believes you're dead. In fact, what's this grudge about? Why don't you tell what me? Are you? A therapist? Oh, God. It's none of your business. Jeez, y'all are so blooming uptight. Okay, he'll stop if he believes you're dead. Perhaps. But just how do you propose we manage that? Because I intend on staying very much alive. <sighs> he wants you gone as proof of death. He wants the very thing that protects my life. <laughs> of course he does. He knows I would never... <clears throat> All right. You can have Ember. But you'll have to come aboard to get her. That's fine. You have my word. You won't be harmed. For whatever that's worth. Well, be sure you don't, because, you know. I do have a lemon pest with me. He's armed and... Well, maybe not dangerous. He's armed and stupid enough to shoot. I didn't touch anything. Be up in a minute. Now I'm gonna touch everything, touch it all. <laughs> wow, she just has a whole heap of um garbage, really. Drawings. This is some kind of kids' locker. Do you got kids here? Oh, lemon pest took the sensible way down. I just, you know, dropped in. Tale of Two Cities. Hmm. I kind of feel like there should be more people on this ship instead of just just this woman. But well, do you know what? Do you know what? I'm not going to question it because it's not my place to question. I'm taking that though. Just so you know. Got anything in here? A little bathroom there. 
soap dispenser. All right. Okay. That turret. I think it is, isn't it? Okay, maybe I touched something that time. That was a little stupid, but never mind. It's 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 okay. Hello? Anyone in? You gonna put the kettle on, love? Could do with the brew. Oh, there you are. Hello. Malai Leskova. Okay. I'm impressed. Simon managed to find someone with guts to come after me. I suppose it shouldn't surprise me that he wants Ember as proof of this. He knows I'd never part with her. What's the story behind Ember? Ah. The first time Ember and I met, she was pointed right at me. And then backfired on the gloating bastard who thought he'd won. <laughs> oh, she saved my life more times than I care to remember. In my line of work, we're always in and out of the fire, if you know what I mean. Yeah, um, well, what's the deal with you and Simon? Come on, there's got to be more to it. We were a thing for a while. <laughs> Until the coward sold me out. Oh dear. I'm sure he regrets it, considering I survived the attempt on my life. And now, I live to blackmail him and make his life a living hell. So if Simon told you I wanted him dead, it's a lie. I want him very much alive. And. I mean, that is kind of fair. If he kind of... Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll take her off your hands. Oh, will you? You really think I'd let you just waltz onto my ship and I'd hand her over? If you knew anything about me, you'd know honesty isn't my strong suit. The only truth here is that I've intended to kill you since the moment you set foot on my ship. Well... Yeah, why even bother accepting my hail and letting me on board in the first place? Your ship, of course. I'd hate to risk damaging something I could easily sell. Plus, this way I can simply climb aboard to see if there's anything of value, rather than have to sift through debris. Any access cards I need, I can just take off your dead body. You know, if you want to come out of this alive, I'd rethink your position. I'm pretty sure I've already made up my mind. Reckon? Oh, just, just... <sighs> Hand over the gun. You'd hate to be running for the rest of your life. I suppose you have a point. I already have enough targets on me as it is. There you go. I wouldn't come after someone like you unless I had the upper hand. And I clearly do. I mean, there's me, there's Lemon Pest, I'm Starborn, it's a whole thing. Hmm. You make a good point. If you manage to find me, you certainly know who I am. And I don't know a thing about you. Okay. Fine. You've compelled me to hold up my end of the deal after all. You get Ember, I'll disappear. Besides, I like to think of this as just a temporary arrangement. She's always found her way back to me before. Why should this time be any different? Kind of true, I suppose. Um... Just keep up your end of the deal. Oh, don't worry. I see this as some well-needed, dare I say, deserved time off. Fair enough. I'm looking forward to the fresh start. I guess Simon chose wisely. For once. Now get off my ship. I've got an identity to arrange and a vacation to plan. Simon didn't do anything, by the way. He's an idiot. Still an idiot. Okay. Uh, got anything in your locker that I can have? Turn around. Hmm. Well, I can just take this. Apparently, I can just take this. Well, I will take it, madam. Perhaps a fresh start could be more useful than I thought. Yeah. Lemon pest. Look, dude. I need you to move yourself out of my way. 
I mean, it's, it's not a bad little ship. It's not as nice as my ship, but then nothing is, so... Ah. Alright, let's go. Ah, well, there you have it. We got what we came for. Ember. Be careful down near the mines and enter any... Okay, Whoa. My buddy Mitch keeps asking... Oh my god, bloody mate, Chew is he? Does he want to lift with something? Bloody hell. Constantly mentioning Mitch. I'll find him. Alright then, bozo. Look who survived the devil herself. Well, either that or you decided to pay up. I am gonna shoot you with this gun. <sighs> hmm. I got the gun. Or should, should well. I mean, she did say she didn't want you dead. You lied to me. Wait a minute. You spoke to that lie weaving terramorph? Yep. You should have just outright killed her. And not heard the story. <sighs> I didn't risk my life out there to be lied to. Ah, the, 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 cool those thrusters. She's lying, I swear. We have a history. A long one. Love, hate, betrayal. It's all in there. I screwed her over one too many times, and she's been out for blood ever since. Blackmail? Ew, I wish. That'd be the least of my worries. Hmm. Huh. So what happened between you two, then? I may have given her name to the UC at one point, but believe me, once I escaped, I wiped all the data they had on her. Only... it was too late. They sent a unit after her. She and her sister escaped, but... Eh, her brother wasn't so lucky. But before you go feeling sorry for him, don't. There are ecliptic mercs, House Varun zealots. Ram made them look like saints. He was called Ram. Like, a sheep ram or like computer ram? Well, whichever. Um, sounds like you learned your lesson. Did I ever. These days I take great care when it comes to making enemies. If I'm going to piss someone off, it's with good reason. So, back to business. You got the gun? Uh-huh. What are you going to do with it? I haven't given it much thought. The truth is, I never thought I'd see it. <laughs> the only thing I know for sure is that I'm sure as hell not going to use it. I think you owe me some information now. Just allow an old man a moment. It's strange. Uh, I always imagined I'd be happy knowing she's gone. Perhaps I've been running so long now that it will just take time for the relief to set in. <laughs> hmm. You know, why don't you keep that gun of hers? I think it's time I left the past behind. <sighs> Moving on is for the best. Let's hope you're right. Yep. Now, back to business. Okay. The information I have is on a deal for something called Project Dominion. Oh. I'm giving you two slates. They contain surveillance and interaction data for Stanley McMillan, the Infinity Rep, that I obtained myself. Oh. I'm also giving you a third slate because you're going to need to download the files on Project Dominion off his computer yourself. <sighs> so I have to get the actual information for myself. Getting information is what you people do. I'm just a lowly, yet very well-paid informant. Here to point you in the right direction. You any idea what it is? Best guess is it has something to do with <laughs> Infinity getting into the neuroamp business. Oh. Stanley McMillan seemed to think Ryujin would be the one company threatened by this news. So their entry must involve something big. 
Well, I got it. That's all I need. Nice doing business with you. Mm. I should throw you over this railing, so I should. <sighs> Come on, lemon pest. I could do the drink. Maybe a rest. Absolute madness. Can look at these files while we're here. Excuse me, can I just... Yep, yeah, thank you. Barkeep! Layla? Who is Lay... Whoa! Okay. That's... That's... Most visitors can't wait to get off this road. That's a lot of files. Um... <clears throat> Propulsion specialist. Well, hello. Citizen. Okay, okay. So, are you... Oops, a citizen. Um... Hi there, friend. Howdy. Phil Hill. Hello, Phil. Oh, hello there, friend. You alright, mate? Have you been there long? Um, I just got it. Oh, good. I thought maybe I'd fallen asleep. But, oh my, I've forgotten my manners. Phil Hill, at your service. Yes, it rhymes. My parents had a thing about rhyming. My siblings are named Bill, Jill, and Sill. Oh, God. The Hills. <laughs> what a thrill. But there I go again. You aren't here to talk about me. You're here to talk about List. Um. Depends on what List we're talking about. You know, silly. List. The League of Independent Settlers? Do I detect a glint of recognition in your eyes? I think so. How can I help make today your very best day? Um. What does List do, exactly? Why, we help people. We get folks set up and able to start new lives and new places, free of governmental interference. We survey the stars, find suitable places matching people's needs, and get folks started with the essentials. I don't suppose you have a ship? Interested in earning some easy credits? Um, yeah, I'm always looking at the easy credits. That's terrific, because I have a lot of work needing doing. Oh, God. This stack of papers here, these are just the most recent applicants looking for new worlds to settle on. There was a lot of them. Everywhere I go, people are really excited about the prospects of living a truly free life, living where and how they want to. I've got a cargo hold full of stacks just like that. Oh dear. <laughs> oh boy. Um... There's that many people who want to live the life of a colonist? Oh, that's just a few applications worth. That's what the human touch looks like. No impersonal computer surveys or security breaches to compromise your private information. Just me and some good old-fashioned ink and paper. Every applicant gets a battery of in-person interviews and has every step of their application completed and carefully reviewed to ensure their particular requirements for the ideal location are understood and met to perfection. Try getting that from the UC or Freestar resettlement programs. That sounds like it would be impossible. So you just sit here and wait for people to come up and talk to you? Used to have an office on Aquila, but, you know, <laughs> budget cuts. But it turned out for the best. Now they send me all over settled space where I can interface directly with the people. I'm a people person, as you can probably already tell. I'm not a huge fan of paperwork myself. I can understand if you've got a cargo hold full of it. Good lord. <laughs> not to worry. The mountains of papers are my responsibility. Thank god, because I'm not doing it. We're looking for folks with ships and or basic people skills to seek out suitable planets and leads on potential clients. I don't suppose you possess either of those qualifications. I do have a ship. <sighs> you know. Not only do I have a ship, but I'm also quite the people person. Oh, yes, I can tell. Speaking with you has been an absolute thrill. I was charmed the moment you opened your mouth. Uh... That sounded creepy. Oh, <clears throat> but re uh, regarding Liz, most importantly, we need to collect data on habitable planets. The more habitable, the better. <laughs> you know, that oxygen and water are musts. Mm -hmm. Other signs of life, even better. Okay. 
Secondly, we're always looking for new applicants. So as you travel around meeting people, when the occasion arises, see if you can interest them in signing up for the list. I'm pretty sure I overheard some people in here talking about wanting to start a new life. Why don't you start with them? Um, why would someone want to join List? I am glad you asked. List provides members with a few tangible benefits and a few intangible ones. First off, we locate an ideal location matching the needs and desires of our members. After that, we provide transportation, as well as a starter set, including basic hab modules, extractors, and seeds for farming, etc. Okay. Everything needed to get off to a good start. Then we set up a small encrypted satellite to aid communication between distant neighbors and the rare list ship that swings by the sector to offer aid and trade supplies if desired. But more importantly, List provides its members the satisfaction of living on their own and on their own terms, independent and free from harassment and governmental interference. Cool. Um, how does the payment work? Bring any suitable planet survey data slates to me, and I'll happily pay you for them. And you'll also earn an immediate commission for each interested party who signs up for the list. So get on out there and make truly independent living a dream come true, and turn a few credits while you're at it. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Excellent. Thank you for any assistance you can lend us. Whoops. <laughs> Nearly forgot. <laughs> Take this. What? Okay. Habitable Planets 101 List Recruiter Guide. Okay, well, that's... Yeah. <sighs> Lemon Pest. I just feel... I don't know. <sighs> We've been pulled from pillar to post. It's madness. Alright, let's have a look at these slates that... Um, our idiotic friend upstairs gave us. Stanley, the audio? Okay. What the hell are you doing in this dump of a city anyway? You draw the short stick at work or what? Infinity sent me to get Deimos to bite on a deal. Who's even got a catchy code name? Project Dominion. Sounds like world domination to me, buddy. I'd buy into that in a heartbeat. Right? I'm telling you. Project Dominion is the real deal. We ought to be selling this to Inception or Quantum. Hell, you should be in the Astral Lounge making Ryujin Industries beg for that tech. Ha! <laughs> That'd be the greatest irony of them all, but not this baby. Dominion is finally gonna put Infinity first. We'll beat Ryujin at their own game. Hmm. Well, all right. Stanley's file, here we go. Threat level, none. Shocker. Schedule, approximate local time. 7.30, leaves Lux Condos for work at Demo Styards. Demo Styards till 11. Leaves for lunch, frequents Jane's Goods. Is it Jane's Goods till about half past one. Returns to work, remains at office until day is over. And then he leaves at 5 p.m. for the Broken Spear. Then at 10.30 he returns to the Lux Condos. Okay, home. Temporary Lux Condominiums A10. Ship non. Dropped off by Infinity LTD chauffeur. Hmm. Yes. What about, what about what he gave us? Habitable Planets 101. So you're on the lookout for a habitable planet. Well, aren't we all? The League of Independent Settlers defines a habitable planet as one that has a breathable atmosphere has a safe temperature. And that's it. Yes, it's really that simple. Here's a tip. When in doubt, go where the life is. If flora and fauna it can exist on a planet, there's a good chance we humans can too. List thanks you for all your hard work. Now go forth and settle the stars. Well, alright. Short and sweet. And to the point. List Recruiter's Guide. Oh my god. Congratulations on your new role as a list recruiter. The League of Independent Settlers is itself an independent organisation made up of signatory members and volunteer administrators and recruiters. We pride ourselves on independence. We are and will remain free from corporate sponsorships, governmental regulations and third party entanglements of all kinds so that our members' particular needs are directly addressed and their integrity and privacy ensured. 
We also strive to keep operating costs to the barest of minimums so that membership dues remain small and impactful. Among other cost-saving initiatives, this means we do not large-scale media advertise, but instead rely on dedicated, hard-working individuals such as yourself to help us find like-minded individuals to join us in our mission to bring a life of freedom and prosperity to all who wish it. From the grassroots to the top of the administrative branches, LIST is a people-first organisation and it is a core LIST value to always empower individuals to be their best selves. To that end, we have put together this small booklet to offer suggestions and ideas to help release your own potential. Consider this not so much a recruiting manual, but rather a collection of inspiring ideas to draw from when crafting your own unique recruiting style. Hmm. The next 20 pages include a list of benefits for joining list, ways to identify motivated recruits, sample sales pitches aimed at various needs and personality types, and a detailed FAQ, all of which are peppered with platitudes and assertions of principle. It, in it concludes with the following reminder. Remember, we have tried to make this as easy as possible. Our top of the list pamphlet is scientifically proven to work 90% of the time in securing long-term commitment to the organisation and eventual resettlement for the recruit. So, as long as you have properly identified a motivated individual, if you are having trouble convincing them, try handing them a pamphlet. You can obtain additional copies of the top of the list from the list representative that hired you as a recruiter. Best of luck out there. We could not do this without you. You are an integral part of what makes list special. So launch out there and be your best self. And remember the list motto. Do each heavenly body its own orbit. List Committee for the Empowerment of Recruitment Volunteers, signed E for Mumbod, Chairperson, Lee Samari, Treasurer, Maya Lily Vincent, and Charlie Graham. Phil L. Hill, Secretary, Tom Huenga, Scott W. Olski, Olkski, Chris Turner. Dependent on current budgetary constraints, there may be occasional occasionally be a nominal fee to cover pamphlet printing costs which commissions should more than cover ha ah, well okay interesting so we've got to get the files okay well excuse me there's a lot of noise why is there an alarm oh god there's a Another destination. Is there a hotel around here? I'd like to get a night's nice rest in a hotel. Sleep. Demo Stayard Engineering. Hey. Cool. Oh, okay. It's kind of loud. Jeez Louise. Alright, well. I guess we've, we've gathered plenty of information. But we are going to leave it there for today, folks. Next time we will go and get these plans and then um, assumedly return to Imogene with the good news. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves.